We often hear in trading the bulls and the bears, but what are the bulls and the bears? As the saying goes, it takes two sides to make a market. The two sides are buyers who usually believe an asset's value is likely to rise, known as bulls, and sellers who generally think an asset's value is set to fall, known as bears. The relationship between them powers the movement in market prices. You can't have one without the other. Let's look at how that works. Suppose you were buying a car. You would look for the lowest price on a model you wanted. And if other buyers were thin and scarce on the ground, you might strike a good deal. On the other hand, if you are trying to bag a rare and sought after vehicle, you might have to pay the seller a high price. In the same way, the balance of demand from buyers and supply from sellers influences prices in financial markets. When you look at the quote for a financial asset, you'll generally see not one, but two prices. You have the bid price, the price you'll receive as a seller, and the ask price, the price you'll pay as a buyer. The ask price is also known as the offer price. The gap between the bid and ask prices occurs because buyers and sellers often have contrasting views about the value of an asset. The bid price is the highest price at which a buyer is prepared to buy, and the ask price is the lowest price for which a seller is willing to sell. The difference between the two prices is known as the spread. Now the spread may also incorporate a broker's fee for handling the trade, the broker quotes clients a price slightly lower than the fundamental bid price or slightly higher than the ask price, keeping the difference to cover its costs. And to understand more about the spread, then watch this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and stay safe.